One time for the elect. Two times for the elect. Three times for the elect. All praise be to you. All beautiful praises be to you. All magnificent praises be to you. The Most High, yeah. may his name be magnified forever. Elect. Man, I am fully convinced that it's almost impossible for the elect to work nine to fives. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I mean nine to five jobs. And through countless attempts to evaluate the circumstances and the situations and, the, you know, the environments, the energies, you know, of the subject. I reached this conclusion. I reached this conclusion that it's almost impossible for the elect to work nine to fives. It's like that. I believe it's like that. It's like this because the elect are destined to make their own way. Um, the elect are destined to submit to no one but the Most High God, the Most High Yah. And majority of these companies are rooted in evil. And the majority of the workplaces are just, are, they really just filled with low vibrational people, you know. Um, you, it, like, it's the thing is, like the elect, like we we actually go to work j j to work. We work when we go to work. We work, and I guess because you know we have the light, we have high vibrations, high frequencies, or whatever you want to call it. We have the Holy Spirit, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it seems like our Everything we do is highlighted. Everything we do is highlighted. And to us, it's, it's pretty much like, you know what I'm saying? Just like a, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a job. I mean, we just work, we're working to get a check. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to, we're not trying to overdo nothing. We're not trying to outshine no one. You know, what you see is just, you know, a, a man or a woman that's actually just trying to come to work to provide for their families or provide for themselves or whatever you want to call it, whatever your circumstances is. Um, and, you know, we can go to the workplace and, you know, saying we don't really have to do much or say much. You know, it, we automatically going to attract envy. Envy. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like envy. Majority of us, man, we'll go to these workplaces, man, and we'll we don't have to do like we don't have to really just say much. We can just really stay out the way, you know what I'm saying, and, and be humble and work. You know. But you know, like I said. Everything is pretty much just highlighted. So what you get, what you're going to get is, you know, people just watching you, trying to see, like, how you do it. And what they'll do, they'll try to do it. You know what I'm saying? But they'll fail miserably at it because they're trying to do what you do instead of do what they do. So once they fail miserably at it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, um, 
you know, that that comparison would pretty much be it'll turn into the comparison will turn into competition. And then when the competition it like inevitably fails, it'll turn into envy. Um Yeah. But I know you're in there. Anyway. Hold on, yeah. I thought I heard my phone, I mean, uh, uh, my door open. But, yeah, uh, like I was saying, the comparison turns into competition, and then the competition turns into envy because there is no competition to the elect. See, the only reason that there is no competition, you know, to us no one is a competition to us because we're not in competition with other people. What we do is just pretty much a manifestation of, you know what I'm saying, the desire to do better as a person, as people. You know, and, um, you know, a lot of people don't operate up under that frequency. So, you know, they'll look at you and automatically compare themselves to you because they in insecure about themselves. You know, and then when you walk your high vibrating, happy go lucky behind <laughs> up in there, your spirit go automatically, you know what I'm saying? It's just gonna automatically irritate their demons. You know what I'm saying? Because they like, you know, you have a presence, you gonna have a presence. You got a presence that make people wonder, that make people question not only who you are, but who they are. <laughs> and it, it, it's it's crazy. It's like a you know, it's it's pretty much a complex dynamic. You know, uh, you know, and they, man, it's like, bro. But see, it's like this. It, it, it's like this because, like I said, you know, like the elect, we are not, we are not created to work for or submit to no one but Yah. No one but yeah. And you know um you know it, it and you know it, it it was like this like for you know for a thousand years. All the great men of the scriptures had their own way. In our modern day language we'll say had their own businesses. Majority of all of the great men had their own businesses. Majority of all of those guys, they didn't work for no one. They didn't work for no one. And 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 you know, of course, of course, they started working for someone. But every time, every time they work for someone, they like it automatically went left. <laughs> it, it went left until they got their own way, you know. Abraham, Joseph, you know, uh, I ain't gonna say Jesus, but but Jesus did work for himself. Jesus had his own business. He was a carpenter. Jesus made his own way. The Messiah, I don't like to call him Jesus, you know what I'm saying? But I just say Jesus because a lot of people don't, they pretty much, their minds don't understand the actual word, the actual name of the, the Mashiach. Yahusha Hamashiach, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say Messiah. I'm just gonna keep it at Messiah, you know, because that's common ground for everyone. Uh, uh, yeah, he was a carpenter. You know, he made his own way, and see, that's what I'm saying. The elect, you know, we not we we not destined we not destined to work for or submit to anyone but Yah. We destined to 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 elevate and grow 
and make our own way because we are the head and not the tail. So in every any time any time that we that we go outside of our of our calling our path, you know, the route that that uh the most high Yah ordained for our lives is gonna automatically go it's gonna go left. It's gonna go south. It's not you. It's not you. You elect ones out here, man, like dude y'all not gonna be if you on a nine to five job, if you I guarantee you, if you are the elect of God, nine to five working for people is not your cup of tea. <laughs> it's not. It's almost impossible. It's it's almost I don't care how good your work work ethic is. I don't care how good it is. You can have supreme work ethic. I mean work work ethic. You can have all of these things. You can have the skills. You can have the knowledge. But if you are surrounded by low vibrational people, bro, they're going to get you out of there. They're going to get you out of there because, for one, they envy you. For two, they see you as a threat. Three, they are afraid of you because people are afraid of things that they can't understand and hate the things that they cannot conquer, dude. I'm trying to tell you. Trying to tell you what's going on. For real. You elect ones, man. Y'all not, man. I'm telling you, man, y'all, y'all cannot. Anybody that, that has a low spirit, a low vibration, evil intent, dark hearts, malice, hatred, or whatever the case may be, they will not like you. They won't. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to do nothing, dude. Nothing. Nothing. You can you can go to work and you can just go to work and work, bro. And work. And people won't like you, bro, because like you just you just too good. You too great. Your energy is too big. Man, Man, somebody had told somebody had told me that one day, and I don't I don't think I, I don't think he he realized he said that he was like man your energy is just too big man <laughs> I I ain't say nothing I didn't say nothing to that you know what I'm saying but in my mind I was like huh see it, it be confirmation one thing one thing about about the Most High you know what I'm saying he's gonna give you comf- confirmation. From anybody, it doesn't matter who it is. He gonna give you confirmation from from anybody, whether they're good or evil, because he made he created light and he created darkness. He created he created evil. He created good. Yes, he created all of these things. So never put limitations on the power of the Most High God ever, ever. Period. For real. You know. It's thundering out there. But um Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, people gonna you 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 trigger you gonna trigger people. You gonna trigger them. You you gonna you automatically gonna trigger their insecurities. And and like what I realized, like the most low vibrational workplaces are Plants, factories. You know what I'm saying? Those are literally slave boxes. That's all they are. Slave boxes. Man, man, you elect ones, you chose ones, you 144,000 people, man. I'm telling you, man, y'all folks go up, up in these, up in these plants, man. Man. They gonna get you up out of there. They gonna get you up out of there, dog. They gonna get you up out of there. I'm trying to tell you what's going on. But I'm gonna leave at this. All praise be to Yah. All beautiful praises be to Yah. One time for the elect. Shalom. <laughs>